back. This is Belt Mike's Way, and I'm Mike. Uh, we're gonna do the intercooler pump today, and we're also gonna go over the EGR uh, vacuum line uh, rerouting. If you do the EGR delete kit, you're gonna wanna watch this. I'm gonna go over it real slow. A couple of guys have been asking for it. I'm sorry it took me so long, but I hope this really helps. Let's get to it. Here's a pump. Here we go. Uh, the audio didn't really turn out that good that day. It was pretty windy. So all you need is a 15 16 wrench, a couple pairs of vice grips to clamp off the hoses so you don't lose all your fluid, a pair of pliers, and uh, one catch bucket should do it. It's a pretty simple, easy job. It only took about 15 minutes altogether. You guys under, uh, ever wonder why I uh, work outside like this? Because uh, it rains a lot in Washington. I'd rather be outside when it's nice weather working on my truck than uh, really be in the garage. It's just a nice change up after the winter. Sit outside, hear the dogs run around, bark and lick at you and bite you while you're trying to work on the truck. It's not all bad. Well, that pretty much takes care of that. We went ahead and plugged it back in. Clips were really easy to get off. Handful of tools, nothing major. Let's go over these vacuum lines, guys. We're gonna make it real simple. You have two lines that come off your intercooler plenum. One goes to your fuel regulator. One will come all the way up here to a T. Hope you guys see that. Comes over here. It's gonna be a black line. It's gonna come right over here to this T. This T goes into your boost gauge, and one pink line, doesn't matter if it's pink, one line off of that T will come up to your boost bypass. <clears throat> There's also one more coming off of the back of the boost bypass on the lower side. The upper one that points to your driver headlight is pink and goes to the T. The one on the lower side that points to the driver steering wheel is black and it goes under, it goes under all the way over here to right under your intake manifold. Or excuse me, your intake plenum. You can see it right here. Hope, hope you can tell. As you come over here, there will be one line You'll have one red line coming off of this for your gas something, I think. Um, I, mine's red. It goes all the way across. Comes over. Comes up towards the front of the engine. I burned off and closed off this line. Real simple. Just use a torch, get it really nice and hot, fold the end over a couple times, works nice. Then you have one left. You have this large black one. The large black one comes down and it makes a right and goes over to these vacuum reserve tanks. 3 8 line goes into the top of this. I hope you can see it. And then you'll have uh, one that you need to plug I'll see if I can pull it over a little bit. So, you'll be plugging this lower one 
making your 3 8 line just runs into the top. Everything else is the same as your stock stuff. Hope this really helps. I try to make it simple, try to make it easy. Um, hope you guys like it. This is just a short, quick video for this week. Um, I'm also going to try to release another uh, in a couple of days of nice little cruise we did with some cool cars. So I hope you guys like it. If you guys have any questions, let me know. It, it's really simple. One black, 3 h one over here, comes over, makes a 90, comes to this, plug that lower small one off, 3 8 up top, maybe that's a quarter. Red line comes over to here from the other side. Everything else is really nice and simple. Once you figure this one out, you have two lines off here. You have one black one, goes to a T. Next one goes to your boost gauge on the inside. Next one, pink line that goes to your boost bypass. Last one, lower boost bypass to into the intake of the engine right under the plastic makes a little 90 easy as that hope you guys like it make sure you buy a nice uh, jc custom billet gate he also sends you the nice part down there to cap off your intake or your exhaust manifold really nice makes a nice kit gives you that last bracket to hold the um, ambient air temperature that's uh, pretty much all there is to it. Hope you guys like it. This is going to be a quick one this week. Get out there. Enjoy the weather while it's nice. Stay safe.